Let's talk Arsenal now. They're on the back page of the Sun this morning. Charlie Wyatt's story. Arsene Wenger is to sign a new £15 million contract, two-year contract at Arsenal. But what about their other big signing this week? That's Mesut Ozil. Is he the answer to all of Arsenal's woes? Well, he's, he's plainly not. You know, I mean, Arsenal's problems were, were at the back and, and probably um, a lack, you know, maybe goalkeeper, lack of defensive midfielders. That said, probably my favourite signing of the transfer window. Arsenal fans are delighted. As a neutral, I, you know, what a good, good player Mesut Ozil is. I'm really excited to see him. And I think what Wenger's done, it might not be what Arsenal needed, but it's, it's a signing that has just put Arsenal back on the map. Uh, and sometimes when a great player becomes available, you just go and get him whether you need him or not. I think United did that with Robin van Persie a year ago. You know, they, they'd been top scorers in the Premier League. Wayne Rooney was on scoring 30 goals a season. Hernandez 20, and they still went out and bought Van Persie because he was around. So Ozil become, you know, he's one of 17 attacking midfielders he's got, but it has made the fans happy. And also, if Arsenal want to in future sign really big players, you know, you need that first one to come there uh, and, and give them belief. And I think Wenger's going to look at the German market now. Having one of the great German players there will enable him to attract talent. And it's, it's just going to give us all a lot of fun watching him. Yeah, it was interesting last Sunday after, after they beat Tottenham at the Emirates because Wenger said that he was willing to spend in excess of the, of the premium for, for a player. That's, that's what he's done here, isn't it, for us? Yeah. And he's mm. spent more than £42 million. Is that his valuation? Or they spent more than he's actually worth. Uh, I think it's probably a little bit more. Well, he, he, the player's worth what people pay for, pay for him and all, and all that. But but I think Ozil is probably in the top ten players in the world. You know, I think you know you are getting one of the the top ten players in the world. So, so you're not going to for team of the year last yeah, season. you're not going to get much below forty million for that. And um, I think that um, it's a, obviously it's a change in the club philosophy. You go back to Bayern Munich in 2007 and signed Ribery for what seemed like an yeah. enormous amount at the time, 25 million euros, seems pathetic now. But, and that was a massive change in Bayern Munich. They'd been relatively frugal up to that point and they said, right, we're, we're falling behind, we've got to do something, we're going to have to start making some big signings. And I think this is a similar moment for mm. Arsenal, whereby you've done it once, now you've got it out of the way, you can go and spend 30, 40 million again, because they've got the finances, so they can do it, and now they seem to have broken that taboo of, oh, we can't do it, it might be difficult. And I, I, I would say, I don't think it solves all Arsenal's problems, it wasn't a great transfer window for them, they got there in the end, just... But they were in for Mario Goetze right at the beginning, mm -hmm. completely unrealistically. Mm. They were never going to get him, but they clearly feel they need more quality players. And I think he's a quality player. I think he is a player they need because they need better quality, and he is better quality. Yeah. What about Wenger himself? This story in The Sun this morning that Charlie, Charlie Wyatt has written about his new contract. Should he sign that? Should he sign that contract? He's in the final year of his, exist of his existing deal, but can you see him carrying on? If Arsene wants to stay, he stays. Mm. Um, because I don't think anyone at the club would would have the courage to get rid of him even if they wanted to. And I don't think they should want to, but I don't think they have it within them to actually do it. But they'd be fearful of what comes after, you know, a pre ill a deluge, as it were. You know, it could be, who knows what would happen to you. If you imagine, can you imagine life post Wenger? It will actually have to happen one day, but we don't know what it will be like. Um, he is very much, remains entirely master of his own Arsenal destiny, I suspect, and that if he wishes to stay, he will. He'll have offers elsewhere unquestionably, mm. whether it be Real Madrid if, France, if Ancelotti yeah. fails or PSG or France or whatever, mm. but if he wishes to stay at Arsenal then, then he will do on his terms and, and I think he has the, the right to do that. I think he's been magnificent uh, for Arsenal. Without him Spurs would be, would be a much better place. So <laughs> I'm really, really <laughs> angry. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's a, he's, a, he's, a, he's, he's been he's brilliant been for the club and I, I do think they need to do more this summer. I mean, they were, we were told they were 70 million. They spent barely half of that. So there's money that, need, oh, that yeah. probably needs to be spent again in January. But unquestionably, in, in signing Ozil, that was a sort of a, a game changer in, in terms of the way Arsenal, as, as Rob said, look at the future. I think that's very well, important. What they, what they did do as well, they went through a summer without losing a marquee player, without losing one of their. They didn't have too many left to lose, though. Did <laughs> well, they? you could argue that. Yeah, but I mean, I think for Wenger, you know, that was starting to depress him, building teams and then seeing them fall apart. And there's a sense he's got his enthusiasm renewed because you know he, he's now been able to sort of grow a team over sort of nine months last season they were improving and he's kept them throughout the, the summer. They do need a, the danger they, 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 gets injured, they do. who plays centre forward? Theo? No, 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 I, mean, I think they're a big miss. Which is you know, possible but it's not, it's not a natural... Given, there's yeah, the other one on the book. Being facetious but yeah. But you know, but that, that is a, yeah, is yeah, a dirt is, that needs to be is. filled. Yeah, but Giroud's in, in good form. Next, next Saturday they're at uh, Sunderland aren't they? That's, yeah. that, that's likely to be Ozil's 
debut. We're we expecting, we expecting to see him start for Arsenal for the first time? Yeah, I think he should start. I, mean, I didn't see the game, but apparently he played very well for yeah. Germany. Um, on Friday, I mean, you, you sign a player for that money, you want to get it, you want to get him straight in. I would have thought. I mean, and the fans be clamouring to see him. And I think they do. You know, I think the team does need the quality. Okay, Sunderland aren't the, aren't like a top four challenger, but you still you don't want to be dropping points. They've already had one upset at the start of the season. I would I would put him straight in. You put him straight in. Okay. What about a man who was straight out, Jovino? He's, uh, he's in the sun this morning. <laughs> Quite critical of Arsene, Arsene Wenger. But is he has it, got is... no right to criticise anybody other than himself. I thought you might say that. Why? why? His, his record at Arsenal isn't, isn't great, is it? 67, sorry, 46 appearances, nine goals scored, nine assists. There you are. You know, really, is that good enough over two years? I don't think so. He's not, he hasn't done it for them. Uh, sometimes players don't play in, in teams because they don't train hard enough and don't mm. work hard enough and aren't good enough but, and need to take yeah. responsibility for their own yeah. flaws this is and what's, failures. This is what's good for Arsenal because Wenger's moved on from signing the Jovinos of the world because that, you know, that's an £11 million player or whatever and you just, if you sign three of them you've, you've wasted your, your, your budget anyway so you know, instead of signing at that level he's, he's gone to a higher level and that's, that's actually quite a nice reminder of, of where Arsenal Better moved sign from. Better one right? at 40 than three Definitely, at 11. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, trying to move on from Jovino aren't they and certainly also will be a, a step up.